In today's video, I'm actually going to be showing you the start to finish steps in editing inside of Hanzoid. So let's get into it. So first, let's talk about actually getting to the program. First of all, you can actually just put in Panzoid into whatever web browser you want. Um, you actually will normally see a pop-up on the top. You can see that you have all of these different options right here. So there is the video editor option. If you want to go directly to it there, you actually can, but I'm gonna show you guys the other way, which if you press this button, then it's gonna bring you up to the normal website and you're gonna see these three different options on top. With that, you're actually gonna click on this video editor option. So with that, let's actually get into it. So the first thing is you want to do is you're probably going to need to check out your project settings. So let's go over here to the sequence. Um, this is where you can change your resolution and stuff. So for instance, for me, I'm going to actually change this. And then you also have your frame rate here. So with that, you actually can go right above that, click this button, which is your media area, which is how you're going to actually start importing your footage. So basically with that, you're going to press this plus add button and basically you can select any footage that you need. So I'm actually going to select mine real quick. Once you've actually done that, you can press the open button and once it does that, it's going to show you guys these black squares saying loading and once it's done loading, it's actually going to show you a basic preview of it. What you need to do is you need to actually take this clip and just drag it into the timeline down below and with that, then you're going to see, whenever you look at the full thing, you're going to see the viewer right up here actually will show you exactly what you need to see for doing that. Basically, you can trim it just by dragging on the edge if you wanted, or you can even just do basic playback of it, select on the clip, and you can press the C key to cut it. You can also press the delete or the backspace key to delete it. You also have your multiple layers, so you have your layer one, you have your layer two, you also have your audio layers underneath. Um, every single option actually is on this side. Right here you actually have your cut tool, which is C to actually do that. You also have your delete tool, which is delete or backspace. You have your link tool, which is the L key, and your unlink tool, which is the U key. You also have your zoom in and out, which you can use the plus or minus buttons. So for instance, you can literally just zoom into the timeline like that, or you can use the shortcut for it, which is really, really nifty. So with that, I'm actually gonna show you guys what you would probably do is you drag like one or two clips into it, press play. So let's say we actually wanted it to start a little bit like there more. We can click on it and drag it right there. Press play again, and let's say we want to cut it there real quick. We can press C, select on that clip again, press delete, and now select on this clip and drag it. So now if you wanted to add special effects or anything to this clip, for instance, all you have to do is select on it, go back up to this panel right here, you can click on this, which is the edit tool, and this will allow you to change like multiple different things. So you have your properties right here. You can see the time right there. You also have your resolution. You also have your positioning. So for instance, if you wanted to move the clip, you can either drag these numbers. So for instance, if I'm gonna zoom out for you, drag those numbers to move it, or you can even just double click on them and type it in. So for instance, if I wanted to move it 50, we can just do it like that. Or if we just wanna move it back, do that real quick. You also have right next to it all of these, which is actually really cool. You have actual animation. So you can actually click on these and do animation, more advanced things, but I'm not gonna be showing you guys all of the powerful tools, just the basics for now. I'm gonna unselect that because we don't really wanna animate it for now. You also have um, drop down menus like this. So this is the blending mode for it. Um, you can click on this and you just scroll down this option list to show you all of the different blend modes that this tool actually has. You also have underneath here your audio, so you have basic audio levels and pan levels. The last thing is, is you actually have these little reset buttons up here that if you click those, it'll just reset it. Once you're actually editing and stuff, this tool does not have like an auto online save, so I'm actually going to show you guys how to save import and export your .pz files because so basically come up to here which if you look at the entire thing is right above the main like panel that we keep using right above that you actually have this tool which basically you have a new project or whatever which you can do control m to do or you can actually do an open which is control all or you can press save or control s this will open up a new browser window and will automatically start downloading it as a .pz file you also have your undo and redo binds which is the control z and control y now you guys can actually add effects so basically go up to the same browser area and you're going to select on the effects one right here you can press this add button which is super super amazing 
press the add button you can literally just search anything you want it has categories so you have layer things so like color overlay gradient overlay um, you also have green screen and a whole bunch of different things distortion effects rgb shift basically you can click on those press on it then select on that effect and you can see right on the right hand side of it you have your reset options you can duplicate the effect or slash clone it you can enable it you can change the amount angle you can animate it everything's the exact same for like changing the parameters and stuff but basically you have that now and if i zoom out for you guys you can actually see the preview real quick which now you can see it has that chromatic aberration right there you can even add like a shake to it if you wanted and a lot of really cool effects so i'm actually going to take this and i'm going to delete this effect off of it so for instance i'm going to have like let's say we just had about three different clips it doesn't really matter right now but basically with that how would you actually start exporting all you have to do is come over here hover over this button which is your export option click it and it's going to give you three different options either you can export a single frame capture which is basically like taking a screenshot of your video and it exports only that screenshot or you can do a device render so for instance if you're on a more powerful computer this is actually a decent option or you can even do cloud render which is actually a super cool tool that is a really nifty tool whenever you do this if you click on it, let's say device render real quick, you can change the resolution, the frame rate, the quality. So normally good is actually fairly decent or you can do very good or extreme. The extreme one basically is just gonna try to keep as much information as possible. You also have your format. So there is only two formats that this will actually export in, which is your .mkv and .webm. So with that, you can press start now and it's literally gonna just start rendering it Right here, it has a time estimate for you and it says your video is being rendered. Please stay on this page to ensure your browser continues to process the video. So once your video is actually done rendering, you can actually go here and press the download your video. It's gonna open up this page. Don't be afraid or anything, this is just normal. And it'll do thank you for it and it'll pop up your video download right here or wherever your browser would do that. So. And with that said guys, we also have a video over here that YouTube recommends for you. And we also have a playlist all about Panzoid right now, going through everything. With that said guys, remember, keep on editing.